Do you know 2100 Bryant? I actually do. I've always coveted that place. It's got that white picket fence. Uh, what is with that white picket fence? I don't know. It clashes with the style of the house. We do have pretty strong opinions ourselves. Whatever we propose, they're going to be like, oh, really? Do you want a window in your door? Is that what you're saying? Yes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> I know that we're way over budget. No, we're out of money. So, you'd never believe how I found this house. How? John happens to live in the neighborhood. And I was driving past, and I screeched to a halt in the middle of traffic, uh -huh. pulled aside. He knocked on the door and I told them that they needed some curb appeal. Did they agree that they need a curb appeal? <laughs> How would they not agree that they need some well, help? We said absolutely. Hello, Hi. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. Come on in. You're Our very pleasure. welcome. Come on. Oh have my us. God, I love this place. <laughs> well, so do we. Well, so we're excited. Uh, we're extremely we're really excited. excited. Um, we're just very calm on camera, that's all. <laughs> There's a lot of great architecture in this town. Sure. But, I mean, wow. I'd never seen something like this in San Francisco. What's the history of this space? It's been lots and lots of things. It was a Pilates studio. Prior to that, it, it was a, an interior designer's live workspace. It's been a pharmacy as well. It's had a lot of different uses. Always with a commercial twist, but for the first time not with you. Is that correct? correct? Right. When I moved here, I knew it as a business. Um, but I thought it was really great to see it turn into a home. The aesthetic of this house is clearly international style, with its all-white stucco and its hidden structure that allows the steel frame windows to actually wrap around the corner. It's even got a red door. And I know that the style of the house is very important to Nick and Beth, and it's important to me as well that I stay true to the style. Well, I absolutely love it. Thank um, you. That said, the biggest problem, as I see it, is that you've got a picket fence surrounding your property. Nick and I were not responsible for that addition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of people uh, are thrilled at the prospect of it going. We love the fact that it's on a corner and that there's a public aspect to it, but at the same time, it's also our front guard. Right. So we'd be able to, it'd be great to be able to use it in a semi-private way. People still, even with the gate, you know, will have their dogs come in here to have a poo. That's kind of not great. I would love to accentuate the cantilevered eyebrow over that window. I know that whoever designed this building back in the day wanted something special with that. It didn't quite happen, I think. It's a pretty iconic building in this neighborhood, and if you changed it and made it into something completely different, a little tear would come from my eye, for sure. I would hate to probably change the color because of the classic nature of the building. John might have to be prepared for us throwing in our opinions as well, but we're very excited to see what he thinks. I'm about to reveal a series of designs to Beth and Nick, and I'm relatively nervous because I know how much they care about this building, and I also know that the building is sort of iconic in the neighborhood. I'm a little nervous. Very nervous, too. I've been working very hard at trying to come up with not just one, but two schemes for you. Here's number one, simple scheme. And here's number two, complicated. The complicated scheme has two different versions. As I'm presenting to them, they don't really seem to be responding. I'm worried that maybe they're not liking what they're seeing. The idea here is that I'm changing the entrance point from in front of the house to on the side of the house. Mm -hmm. It's no longer going to read quite so commercial. They are not responding to anything. Very stoic. Materials-wise, on the simple scheme, I'm bringing in wood as right. the accent material. On the complicated scheme, I'm bringing in metal because I can create the most custom, beautiful planters with it. Right. At this point, I'm both nervous and wondering why they're not reacting to me. Um... I am so impressed. <laughs> this is so exciting. Really? This is more beautiful than we, I ever imagined. Oh, that really makes me very relieved. <laughs> Personally, I prefer the complicated scheme. Oh, yeah? I like the use of the metal uh, with the stucco. Love the different planter heights, which will really make it fun. I think it's going to be a real icon, as you say. We're uh, incredibly impressed by the amount of work and his ingenuity, really. Um, we're, we're, we're very excited. Very excited. Really happy. Let's coffee clink to that. Okay. <laughs> Thank indeed. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Wonderful. Indeed. Thank you.
It's the first day of demolition for the O'Neills, and in San Francisco, the weather has been perfect until today. I'm a fan whenever you pull in a homeowner to help Look us at this out. this guy. But in a, like a, a boot and a mohair sort of know, overcoat. Well, he came out in work clothes, and I said, that's not good enough. <laughs> no, You're going to be on TV. Like... Go put a suit on, buddy. <laughs> What'd you do to your foot? Uh, I was kicking the fence, and uh, just wow. goes to show you were ready for that picket to <laughs> I, go. You know that. It's a serious bush right there. Look at that. So we cut this one, it was the whole thing. because they always hide in all these spiders. And they would bite us. I'm so unbelievably excited. <laughs> I am in a state of shock, and it's going to be so incredible. Look how much bigger your facade is. That looks amazing. Imagine it with really a bigger door. Yeah. That's going to be my refrain. Yes. Imagine it with yeah, a bigger now door. Now it's the bigger door. Check out these awesome murals. I love this stuff, look at this one. As we're looking around for a neighborhood makeover, we stumbled upon Cell Space, which is a local artist's collaborative, and their front sidewalk is in poor shape. This has seen better days. Yeah. The planning bed is just cigarette butts, and it's in such stark contrast against the beautiful murals on the wall. Is this just free and open to the public? Yeah, it is, actually, yeah, oh. it is. So do you guys have artists do all the murals on the walls out front? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah the murals neat. are what caught our attention. It really colors this whole neighborhood. Oh, yeah. nice, yeah. It's yeah. such a nice community feel because of those walls. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great space. And uh, the metal shop did the facade out front. You guys uh, have a metal shop on site? Yeah, absolutely, in the back. Wow. So then why is that uh, bench falling down outside if you guys have a metal <laughs> shop? <laughs> Burn. Right now, we're in process of just redoing those benches. So we're Curve Appeal. We're doing a project right down the street. Uh -huh. Okay. We'd be happy to help out. I would love that help. That would be really great. This artist co-op has done so much for the neighborhood. And we all know programs like these don't make any money. So $1,000 towards plants and benches will go a long way in adding pride and beauty to what's become a neighborhood institution. We get rid of uh, the weeds, clean it up, smoke some cigarettes, and then paint it. Or have a banana. Of <laughs> <laughs> the three, I would go for the bottom one straight bottom. away. Yeah. More saturated red, yeah. right? One of the advantages of working on an iconic building like this one is that the colors have to remain the same. It's an international style building, so the stucco's gonna go white, the sash details are gonna go black, and the door's gonna remain red. So here I am thinking that this color selection process is gonna be easy peasy, but it turns out that there's bigger issues at stake. I don't know whether you're thinking of a glass door or a solid door, I guess is the question. Solid. Solid, okay. I think there's enough glass on this facade that yeah. we don't need. You know what, because all this is as high for us, this is our little window into the garden. Do you want a window in your door? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Putting a random window in a random door is not going to work. It has to be a very calculated window. So I still have lots of uh, T's to cross and I's to dot before I can say yes to Beth. We just uh -huh. assumed that it was going to be like Another a door. Glass door? Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> what can we do? What can we do? I gotta be able to see out, just just like see my little bush. Beth seems to think that she won't be able to see outside if the door doesn't have a window in it. But look at her house. Suddenly, I'm looking out. Wait, ready? <laughs> He's silly. He is. No, really. If you sit inside, I know. Once you're sitting down inside, you're below that level. All you can see is sky. We designed this amazing door. It's actually gonna be one of the coolest elements in the entire house because it's 10 feet tall and it's a Dutch door. I'm concerned that with this glass insert, the aesthetic of the door might be compromised. Let me just make my call. Okay. Let me see where okay. it ends up. Okay. I feel okay. we've really deflated you. 
I'm uh, deflated. You're, you're, you're not as tall as you were a He's half an hour fine. Ago. He's just trying to work it all out just, because yeah. he wants to make you, guys, you happy. I want to make you guys happy. If Beth wants a glass insert in her door, she's going to have a glass insert in her door. It might be this big. We'll see. So all of these, first of all, are drought tolerant. Water it occasionally. Other than that, just like your window boxes there that we've planted the succulents, same thing here. I like to plant all the larger ones first, okay. and then you can playfully move the smaller ones gotcha. after that. Now it looks like a big pile of dirt, but that's okay. I think it's great to have someone pay some, some special attention to this house. I'm excited to see what it turns into. So you want to take this yeah. and you want to bring it, it out, out <laughs> as far as it's cantilevering out towards oh, the front of the house. You want, want that to come distance out this, this way. way. Yeah. And then just make it a nice radius that just dies back into the building. Even more than a nice radius, a perfect circle. Okay. That's what I meant. I oh. think that's what they would have wanted to do originally, yeah. but they it was like they wanted to go out for beers, yeah. and they just okay. finished it. All right, so um, one other thing to talk about. If we take a foot for planting here, slight concern that we're maybe making a trip hazard. Somebody yeah. could be coming, yeah. you know. Well, no, so that, that, we've done it. this before. Right. It doesn't mean it's right. Unless but, so but it, was, it was for okay. It. it was 100% right. So I'm proposing what I think is a simple enough project. It's just a planting strip in front of the new stucco wall. You okay to... to do it or do you wanna? I'm so convinced that this is exactly the right thing to do that I've just told Bill and Jeff to build it. The city's allowed us to do something very similar to this before, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Aesthetically speaking, are you on cloud nine? Uh, I think it's, uh, <laughs> I would say I am. Uh, my only concern is it's gonna stink of dog pee. I'm hoping that it's so nice looking, people might actually respect it. So let's, I think we should do it. Yeah. Well, you know, they turn out perfectly. Shall we Good. call them out and see what they think? Yeah, I'll go get them. Okay. This isn't a huge surprise. You've been helping all day long, but it's finished. What do you guys think? It looks great. It was really nice to have people from Cell Space and Curb Appeal come in and just put it all together as a community-based effort, and we're just really, really thankful. We just needed some help renovating, and now we actually have all four of our benches together, which is fantastic, and I love the plants. They look beautiful. This has been really fantastic. Just to beautify the exterior it really helps what this space is about. We're pouring a ton of concrete in front of this house, but the fact is we're creating planters out of the concrete. So that's what's gonna bring in that new residential aesthetic that it never had before. Um, on the one hand, these planters are big and they define the perimeter of the project, so it makes it feel more private. But on the other hand, they're different sizes and shapes, and so that breaking down of the scale makes it feel more welcoming. Next time I'll wear a gray shirt. Are you a neighbor? Yeah, I live right next door. Do you know about our uh, neighbor makeovers? Yeah, which is why I took today off work, so I could stay <laughs> oh, wow. home to try and wow. get a picture at least, yeah. if not wow. a makeover, Absolutely. huh? Wait, can we please go over and check your yes, house out? Yes, come on, okay. have a look. I'm looking at this facade, and yeah. it's all white. Would you oh be okay God. with us painting the front of your house? What's you know, the color? hot traffic cone orange. <laughs> You're taking the piss. <laughs> I am taking, taking a, a piss. piss. <laughs> <laughs> the, the piss. You're pulling my leg, is what Ah, I'm yes, that is what I would say. <laughs> we might want to take our cues from the nature here. What do you think, like a light lavender, heathery That's gray? That's because we've got lavender over there. Yep. So we're doing it? Why not? Cool. Yay! See you. Thank you. John. Yeah. We actually have an issue over here. We have serious dry rot under here. So our budget here is maxed out, especially because of the changes we're making to the front door. Now that I've found this dry rot, there's a chance that one of the design elements that John is most excited about isn't going to happen. We're not gonna have a structure to attach anything heavy 
Can't we just cut it here and then restructure just this part? We could easily hit three grand. The wood on the very bottom that they use to attach the chicken wire to is yeah. rotten. But the structural wood is solid. So after doing a little more investigation into the dry rot, I realized it's not as bad as I had originally thought it would be. There's a waterproof membrane already there, and the main structure is fine. So I think we're going to be able to move ahead with John's original design. I'm tired of dry rot. Me too. No more dry rot. No more dry That's rot. That's the new rule. Dot com. <laughs> That's my new website. Dirty work. It is dirty work. Have fun. So finally, some good news, which is that the city is allowing our little planting strip. It's not an enormous area, but it's going to play a huge role in softening up the hard lines of the sickle planters. This is great. We're building the nicest dog Don't say poop it. zone Don't say it. <laughs> in San Francisco. Is it here? No. Pauline's house was the perfect candidate for a neighbor makeover. She lives right next door to Nick and Beth. Secondly, all of her plants were overgrown. The wisteria has just taken over the front of her facade. What do you guys think? It's looking beautiful, isn't it? Pretty Lots nice, of huh? Color. Yeah, we love it. We're going for a very eclectic look here. Fact of the matter is I wouldn't normally be painting a purple house. In this case, we're tying everything to this beautiful wisteria plant right here. So an off shade of lavender, a purple ceiling, and it's all gonna be offset by a gray door. So we're pretty much set with our cottagey look. <laughs> hey, I hope you guys like purple. <laughs> <laughs> Bill was able to modify the door for the windows, and the tempered glass was so expensive it completely ruined our budget. But seeing Beth's reaction now makes it all worthwhile. Hey. Wow. We have a big surprise for you. OK. Take a look at your new door. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's beautiful. Isn't it cool? It's, yeah, it's so cool. Right? cool. Yeah. Hey. Come on out. Oh, wow, that color. We took a very different approach with your facade than we've done with any other. No, really? In What's this that? instance. <laughs> you said that you'd be willing to have a nice saturated color on wow. your facade. Now the whole facade draws the eye up to the entrance instead of just the door doing it. That's right. And that's why the door went gray. Now that looks really good. And I like how the black is picked up in the light yes, exactly. and around the too. edge. As the number one curb appeal fan, I, can I tell you, usually when you're watching the show, you think, yeah, I know what they're going to do. You know, I've seen it all before. I did not expect it. Blew my mind. I, I thought I knew what I was going to see. Did not. Actually, John, you want to check these yeah, out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, are you ready? Our first planner. Cool. Yeah.